Let's take a look at exploded views in SolidWorks and see what kind of options are available to us. As we go into the exploded views, you can select the components and then drag them off into space to see your exploded state. We're going to turn off all the options for now and take a look at what we have. We're going to start off with this pin, remove the spring pin here, and you can see the reference triad is not exactly lined up with, uh, with the axis of the pin, so it's not exploding correctly. We'll delete the step, select the pin, but in this case for the exploded direction what we can do is grab a face or an edge and that'll make it lined up so we can drag it out normal too. Once that's completed we can pull off the handle. This is actually a sub-assembly so when we select it it grabs the entire assembly. If you didn't want the entire assembly, you can have the option to select the parts of that sub-assembly for individual components. We'll grab the entire handle for now and drag it off. Another nice functionality is the reuse sub-assembly explode. This assembly actually has an exploded view in it, so all you have to do is reuse it and it pulls in all the information. Let's go around and grab all of these pins and we'll just pull them out of the holes. Now the next step is to drag the other components out. The auto space components after drag is a nice option where when you select multi comp multiple components and drag it up you can see how it auto spaces them. Now if you go back and edit that step with a single, uh, simple double click you can drag the slider bar for different spacing, but you can actually drag each individual component using the small arrows for, uh, for quick spacing between them. You can do the same for the bottom. Drag it down and you can see how the auto space automatically adjusts all the spacing. And then you can always tweak each individual com com component. Now for the side ones we can do the same thing. Select the two components, drag them out, and then adjust the individual ones as needed. Now in this case here we actually are a little close. We've got some overlap. No problem, you can just double click on any component, it'll bring up that step and you can adjust it from there. You can also double click it from the list, any step you need, and then adjust the length. So there's our exploded state. You can click OK, expand the exploded view to see the steps, double click to con collapse, and then you can animate the explode. And this can be saved out as an AVI as well.